Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Fine. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. Hi, Mauricio. Hi, teacher. How are you doing? Fine. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. Thank you. Okay. So I, I, I only have two students today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, it's it's true. And Friday, it's very heavy, right? Because there's a lot of work. I mucho trabajo. There's a lot of work because yes. everybody is closing the week. <clears throat> okay. Hi, Beatriz. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very fine. Thank you. Oh, I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Ready for, right. for the last day of, of the week, for the last class of the week. Yes. Yeah. So it's time really flies, right? El tiempo realmente vuela. Time really flies. Imagine. Estamos básicamente a una semana de terminar el módulo. Just one week to finish the module, right? So time really flies. So I am, I am really happy because uh, in the afternoon, I checked, I checked uh, the platform, okay? And I checked your work. I mean, everybody's work, el trabajo de todos, everybody's work. And everybody completed the exercises of the week. So I'm really happy for that. Soy muy feliz porque todos completaron los, los trabajos, las, las tareas de la plataforma de esta semana, ¿ok? And it was around 3, I guess. Yes, it was about 3 p.m. And everybody completed the, 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 the homework. So I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm happy about that. So thank you very much for completing the homework. You're welcome, teacher. All right. Very good. Ok, so it's 8-1 already. So let's wait one more minute. Solo esperaremos un minuto más. We'll wait only one minute. Ok. Si ven el fondo ahora, estoy en un lugar diferente. Ok. Me echaron del de lugar de donde doy la clase. Así que I'm sorry about that. Está donde el vecino, teacher. Me, me, me mandaron para donde el vecino ahora. <laughs> yes. No, but it's only today. So, but, but my background is very beautiful, right? A window, a light. <laughs> Solo hay dos me parece que tenían 80% y ahí todos tenían 100% en el trabajo de la plataforma. Pero creo que fue que no tuvieron tiempo de repetir tal vez los ejercicios algunas veces. Ok, so let me pass the attendance quickly. Le voy a pasar rápido asistencia. I will pass the attendance quickly. Let me get this. Ok, le sigue Alejandro Antonio. Ana Abigail. Ana Beatriz. Present. Thank you. Uh, Christian Ernesto. Present teacher. All right, thank you for getting connected, Christian. Uh, Amber Giovanni. Not present. As you may, they are working, Juan Carlos. Are they working? I don't know, teacher. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> six, 6 p.m. is closed. The, the company the is closed. Tender. Okay. La tiendita la cerramos a las 5. Ah, okay. So they are at home then. Frida? Uh, Jacqueline Lisette? Juan Carlos Alas? Juan Carlos Rivas? I'm here. Okay, thank you. Juan Carlos Rivas, Carla. Okay, María Elena. Bien raro que María Elena no se conectó ayer tampoco. It's kind of weird. Mauricio Antonio. Present. All right, thank you. Uh, Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Uh, Omar Francisco. Not connected yet. Okay. Uh, Oscar Arnulfo. Teacher. Yeah. Omar is arriving. Oh, oh okay. Good. 
Thank you. Give me a minute. I need to get a call. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. It was a very important call. I had to get it. I never, I know, I never answered the phone, right? When I am in classes with you, but this time it was very important, okay? Okay, let's continue. Um, Oscar Anulfo? Oh, Omar is present. Okay, I see Omar in this moment, okay? Present teaching, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I'm putting the attendance here. Okay, um, let's see. Oscar Ernesto? Jacqueline Gloribel? Present. Rocio Lourdes. Jocelyn. I hear the chair. Okay, thank you. Jesenia. All right. Dinora. And Jose Galileo. Creo que este Friday sí les ha. No les ha ido bien a varios. <laughs> Tengo poca gente conectada. Okay, but anyways, okay, it's time to start. Okay, so. Yes, um, aquí, yes, aquí, yes, who, is, who is here? Rocío. Rocío. Yes, yes Rocío. I put the attendance. Ah, let's see, Rocío. Le vamos a poner acá asistencia a Rocío. Sí. Okay, Rocío. Uh, who else? Oscar Arnulfo is getting connected to. I, I see. Oscar Arnulfo is getting connected to. And Juan Carlos Salas is getting connected to. Okay, let me put the attendance. And yeah, basically that's it. Okay, uh, all right. So um, yesterday uh, we studied what? I don't remember. Oh my God, I forgot. Remind me, please. What did we study yesterday? What did you study yesterday? Tell me a word. Etiquette. Oh, etiquette. We study, yeah, that's the word I wanted. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, we studied etiquette. But etiquette for what? Workplace. For the workplace, okay? So we studied etiquette uh, we apply or we use at the workplace. Very good. So uh, what etiquette do you remember? Or what etiquette? Punctual. What etiquette guidelines do you remember? Sorry? Punctual or... Uh, be punctual, okay? That's one be etiquette. Punctual. Be punctual at, to work. Very good. Any other that you remember? Hey, thank Polite. you. Sorry, Ana Beatriz? Polite. Sorry? Polite. Be polite. B is B. Be polite, okay? Be polite. Be polite. Rocio? Rocio, do you have one? Uh, follow the security protocol. Exactly. Follow the security protocol. What else? Say thank you. Say thank you. That's polite. Okay. Say thank you. All right. Very good. What else? Close your mouth when you chew. That's important. That's very important, right? When you are having dinner with co-workers or with businessmen or with your manager, with your supervisor, if you speak or if you talk, shut your mouth. Okay. Or close your your mouth, okay, that's important. It's not like you are chewing like, and then you are speaking and all the food inside, uh, I mean, your supervisor can see all the food inside your mouth, okay? No, that's not possible, okay? That's not good etiquette, by the way, all right? So that's important. So when you chew, don't open your mouth, keep it closed, all right? Or don't talk, you better remain quiet, okay? Mejor quedarnos calladitos, solo escuchando, we better listen, okay? Anyways, a good etiquette is, to listen to others carefully, right? It's a good etiquette, okay? Good, what else do you have? Do you have more etiquettes? Or we started only that? Be accountable. That's important. Be accountable when talking about uh, work matters, okay? Be accountable or responsible. That is the same, okay? Thank you very much, Christian. What else?
only that. Okay, so um, very good. So, uh, I mean, etiquette, if we define the word etiquette, etiquettes are ways to behave. Ways to behave at work in this case, ways to behave at work, okay? Or maybe things you cannot do at work, okay? So when, when we talk about rules, rules are different because rules are like, do not do this. Like they say, don't like directly, right? Don't do this, don't smoke is a rule, okay? Or uh, don't speak loudly, okay? It's direct, okay? So it's a rule, okay? So the, maybe that's the difference between rules and etiquettes, okay? Very good. I remember uh, that at the end of the class yesterday, you, you wrote, okay, I'm speaking in past. You wrote some guidelines, okay, some etiquette guidelines for your coworkers, okay? Yeah, did you finish? Did you write the etiquette guidelines? Do you have them at hand? Do you have them at hand? Yeah? Yes. 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 <laughs> you have them on your on your notebook. Good. So listen. Notebook. On, yeah, on your notebook. Good. It's good to do it on your notebook because in that way you don't lose your, your notes. Okay, listen. Using, using the etiquette guidelines you uh, wrote yesterday, okay, we will go to breakout rooms. And in the breakout rooms, you will compare. You will compare your etiquette your etiquette guidelines with your classmates etiquette guidelines okay yeah so the idea is to compare okay, okay. maybe if you have the same you say oh we have the same oh no you say uh, we have different etiquette or maybe you can say oh no i don't agree mm -hmm. with that mm -hmm. Yo no estoy de acuerdo con eso. i don't agree with that or you can say oh it's true you can say it's mm -hmm. true all right, so the idea is to practice English a little bit. La idea también es practicar un poquito de inglés, okay? So let's go to breakout okay. rooms and compare the etiquettes you have with your classmates' etiquettes, okay? With the guidelines, yeah? Good, any question? No? Okay, let's go and compare. I will give you like three or four minutes for this activity, okay? Three or four minutes for this activity. Okay, let's go and compare. In uh, page three six. Si gusta, eh, usted, 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 usted tiene la suya, Hannah. Sí. Yes. Si ah. Okay. Eh, um, la primera mía sería to be on time. Okay. Do not spit on the floor. Oh. Um, spit. Spit. On. On the floor. If if you don't in, in case maybe you don't know a word that your classmate is using or you don't know vocabulary that your classmate is using, you can ask, okay? Hey, what does, what does it mean? Like speed, what is the speed, for example? Okay, so you can ask your classmates. Pueden preguntarle a su compañero. You can ask your classmates, okay? So do you know what, what, okay. what is speed, Mauricio? Okay. Any idea? No. <laughs> ah, then, then you can ask her, okay? Yeah, okay, uh, Ana Beatriz, and what is the speed? Okay, you can ask her, or Maria, yes. right? You can ask her. Yeah. Is scoopit. No es en el piso. Don't spit it on the floor. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> eh, uh, siguiente. Use the appropriate color on the teeth unit uniform daily. 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 Thank you. 
complete, Mauricio. Okay, uh, I uh, to be punctual. Uh, dress, dress formally. It's correct. Dress formally. Y use correct language. Don't, um. uh, don't knock out boldly while everything. Can you, can, you can you repeat that one, Maurice? I didn't get it very well. Can you repeat don't, it, please? Don't, don't yeah. not talk boldly uh, while uh, ah. is the, is the, yeah, is yeah. the paragraph. Yeah, yeah. Do not talk loudly while eating is the, is the sentence. Do while, not, while do not talk loudly while eating, right? Boldly, boldly while eating. Okay. Okay, very good. And... The last is say goodbye in call it way. The last, the last, the last, sorry. Say goodbye. Bye. In a, I said goodbye in a polite way. Polite. 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 Light polite. Way. In, polite in way. Polite way. In, in a polite way. Exactly. Okay. You can compare. Maybe you can say, "I have one similar." Have, you can uh, say, uh, "To be on time mm -hmm. is." Okay. Um, be punctual. Arrive. Be careful not to speak loudly. Respect the. Educated, silent event. Dress accordingly. Y keep the workplace clean. La antepenúltima, ¿cuál fue, Abigail? Disculpe. Dress accordingly. Accord. Vestimenta sería... adecuada. Ah, dress accordingly. No todos usamos uniforme, ¿verdad? entonces. Uh, the word you're using, Abigail, is accordingly. No, uh, dress accordingly. accordingly. Sí. Ah, ok, sí. dress accordingly. Yo no voy a llegar de tenis día de semana y con shorts. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sí. Or with a mini skirt. Eh, no la dejo pasar de la puerta. Ah, ok. Y llega así. <laughs> Él quiere que llegue con mulata con nuda. Mulata con I don't know who la taconuda is, but, <laughs> but, but, I, but, I, but I imagine. But I imagine. Bien. Vaya, mm, no sé si quieren agregar algo más. Maybe you can compare, okay? Maybe you can say, oh, I have the same as. Omar, you can say, or right, our number one mine is similar to Juan Carlos uh, etiquette. Okay, so you try to compare the etiquettes you have. Okay, traten de compara comparar. Try to compare the etiquettes you have. Okay. Sí. No, bueno, que en mi caso y el de Abigail creo que diferimos bastante. Is the office. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful to not to speak loudly. <laughs> Don't speak with your neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That is it. Hello, yes. Hello, how are you? Fine. Nice. So uh yeah. are your etiquette similar or different? Uh, one Different. is similar. If, ah, if one. Dress is similar. Which one? Dress accord, accord, uh, accordingly. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, dress and, accordingly. And, yeah. And la de ellos o ya la de ellos. Uh, wear formal dress. Wear formal dress. Should be wear formal dress. Okay. Okay. And. En otras ni los parecemos. 
Oh, the, the rest are know. different. You can say the others are very different. The yes. others are very different. Okay, say it, say it in English. The others are very different. <laughs> the others are very, very, different. very different. Okay, very good. So basically you finish. Yeah, teacher, sorry, uh, what, what to say? Eh, otra regla de etiqueta sería, por ejemplo, no ladrarle a los vecinos, porque está, mi, mi perra tuvo un ataque de histeria. Another etiquette would be? No ladrarle a los vecinos, porque justamente ahorita mi, mi perra le agarró un ataque de histeria. Ok, but, 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 but you mean, I mean, but, but a dog, right? Barking. Ah, yeah. A dog. Ok, don't bark your neighbors. Don't bark, like bark. Bark, bark mm -hmm. is like bark, 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 bark. Bark. Ah, bark. In English you say bark, ok? Don't bark your neighbors. <laughs> this is other. Yeah, that's etiquette for your pet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. All right, you can discuss, okay, why your etiquette is so important. Okay, the idea is to practice, okay? People will arrive at the office. Yes, okay, discuss why. Okay, discuss with your classmates. Very good. Continue. The punctual red point, use correct language, do not. Do not talk loudly while eating and say goodbye in a polite way. Fue lo único que la seis que pusimos. Lo único que si fueron lo del párrafo grande, ¿verdad? Sí, correcto. Esas son las que nosotros pusimos con la persona que me tocó. En clases. Ah, sí. So Pero normalmente you, en la teoría you, como que todo es como ser puntual, tener, usar un lenguaje correcto. So is your, uh, is, is your etiquette similar or Hola, different? Teacher. Hello, good evening. Is your etiquette, I mean, are your etiquette, sorry, uh, similar or different? Mm. Uh, Arias. Similar, uh, uh, y difero. Uh, similar and different, okay? So which similar etiquettes do you have? Which similar etiquettes do you have? Be punctual. Okay, be punctual is very similar for everybody, okay? What else? ¿Qué más? What else? Respect to others. Respect others, okay? Respect others? And, and, and I have... Be respectful with your co-workers. Oh, it's yeah. The same meaning. Yeah, it's, it's the same with different words, okay? It's the same mm -hmm. intention yes. with different vocabulary. Okay, that's yes. cool. Excellent. Uh, so did you finish? Yes. Only, okay. Uh, I have a question, teacher. Yes, uh, how, how do you say instalaciones? Facilities. Facilities. Fac facilities. 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 Let me write it for facilities. you. Yes. Let me write it for you here. You say uh, like this, okay? Facilities. Oh, this is letter Facilities. L, hold on. Facilities. Facilities, okay? Yes, instalaciones. Okay. instalaciones. Okay. All right, let's go back. Regresemos entonces. Let's go back to the main session. Ok, gracias. Feliz noche. Gracias, tipo. Ok. Ok, ok. Very good. So uh, I guess everybody finished uh, comparing your etiquette guidelines, right? Or your etiquette manual for your coworkers. Good. Now my question is, uh, which etiquettes uh, in your group were similar? Which etiquettes in your group uh, are similar? Tell me one etiquette that is similar in almost all the group. I have one similar only should we wear formal dress. Okay, uh, uh, dress formal clothes, okay, or clothes. use clothes. dress formally or, or dress formally. Okay, very good. So this is similar in your group, Oscar Nufo? Yes. That's very similar. Maybe 
maybe your classmates have the same in different words, right? But in the end, it's the same intention, the same purpose, okay? Very good. So uh, who else? Who else? Anybody else? I repeat the question, okay? Uh, which etiquette guidelines uh, are similar in your groups or with your classmates? Uh, similar in group. Okay, Rocio. No. So. Or first Rocio and then Ana Beatriz. Rocio. Okay, uh, be respectful with your coworkers. Good, be respectful with your coworkers. What do your classmates have, Rocio, in this one? Um, Mm, we have, oh, they have a respect, respect the others. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the same meaning. Yeah, it's basically the same intention, right? Okay, thank you, Rocio. Thank you very much. Ana Beatriz, what do you have? Well, it's etiquette uh, similar in group is on time. Be on to time, be on right? time. To be on time or to be responsible uh, with the time you get yes. to work. Very good. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Now, the other question is the opposite. The other question is the opposite. Uh, which etiquette guidelines are different in your group? Which etiquette guidelines are different in your groups? Uh, different in the group is the no spit on the floor. Ah, good. Do not spit on the floor. Yes. All right. Do not spit on the floor. On the floor. Ah. Speed. What is the speed, Ana Beatriz? Is escupir. Escupir. Okay. Do not on the floor. Okay. Do not speed on the on the floor. That's important. Okay. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. So, anybody else? Keep your workplace clean. Good. Yeah, that's very important. Okay. Keep your workplace or your cubicle or your office clean. Okay. That's very very important. Okay. So, do you have more? Yes, uh, uh, dress accord, accordingly, accordingly. Accordingly. I think accordingly. I think the word you want to use is accordingly, right? No, or it's another word, accordingly, okay? decir uh, acorde. Ah, yes, accordingly. It's accordingly. Dress accordingly, accordingly. Very good. Yes, according to the, to the event or to the day, right? According to different things, okay? Because in some companies, uh, it depends on the day you dress a color of uniform or a type of uh, shirt or jeans, I don't know, okay? So depending on the days, right? Okay, thank you, Frida, Janine. Okay, uh, so anybody else? So the question is, which etiquettes are different in your groups? Uh, give genuine compliments. Oh, give genuine compliments. Good, like, like say, oh, you look beautiful today, okay? Yes, or your shoes are very good. Your shoes are very clean today, all right? So genuine compliments, very good. Yeah. Cumplidos geninos, yeah. genuine compliments. Excellent, I like that one. I like that etiquette. I like that etiquette, that's very important. Good, not fake like, oh my God, your shoes are beautiful, but <laughs> all right, like with sarcasm, okay? That's not possible in the work, at work. That's not possible at work. Okay, very good. So uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Which etiquettes are different in your group? Onida? Another, listen, listen before speaking. Listen before speaking. Okay, that's important. Sometimes we just speak, 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 and speak, and we never listen, right? And in Spanish, we say, nunca prestamos la guitarra, right? So we, we never let the others speak, all right? Good. Oscar? Arnulfo, thank you, Maria. Avoid talking about personal problem. Avoid talking about personal problem. That's that's very important. Okay, may imagine you are in a in a very important meeting with your coworkers, and and all of a sudden or suddenly you start speaking about your problems, about your personal problems, right? So that's not possible. Okay, maybe you can do that with with a relative or with a friend, but not on a, on a meeting on a, or on, on lunch, during lunch, maybe with your coworkers, okay? That's not possible. Thank you, Oscar and Ulfo. So one last, Ultimo, one last. I have one. Um, 
take care of the company's facilities. 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 Okay. Facilities. 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 Take care. Take care of the company's facilities. What is facilities, Rocio? What is facilities? Instalaciones. Instalaciones. Okay. So take care of the company's facilities about everything, right? The garden, uh, the furniture, everything. The yes, everything. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So basically, in this part, we studied etiquette. All right. And today, today is practice day. Today you will practice a lot, the vocabulary, the grammar, everything we studied in unit number three, all right? So we will have many breakout rooms today. Tendremos diferentes breakout rooms for you to practice, okay? Yeah, so let's go to breakout room number one. So listen, in breakout room number one, okay, you will work in groups. And in the groups, you will try to complete this crossword puzzle, okay? This crossword puzzle is on page 37, okay? This crossword puzzle is on page 37. The idea is that you look for these words, etiquette, guidelines, polite, manners, regards, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutation, and Subject, okay? The idea is that you go to the, to the puzzle and you look for these words, okay? And you work in groups, okay? Vamos a trabajar en equipos. We will work in, in groups. This is on page 37, I repeat, page 37, okay? Good. So do you have any question before you start completing the, the puzzle? Any question? No, no questions? Okay, so let's go to work in groups then. We are going to work in groups of three or four, maybe, okay? Three or four. Okay, let's go. Podemos compartir la pantalla o aquí te bueno yo tengo mi mi mi, impres, mi impresión okay. o, o uh, se te hace más fácil también no hay problema. La podemos compartir para buscarla. I think it's okay. better. I think okay. it's better. Yeah, it's better if somebody shares the screen. Ya encontré unas. Me gustan las sopas de net. Excelente. Manager. Ahí está ya compartida. En dado caso, no sé si logran visualizarlo. Hola, ¿pueden visualizarlo? Sí, sí. Excelente. Ok. Bueno. Encontré una también. No sé si es la misma que usted. Eh, le puedo decir Lisette, ¿le parece? No, porque no me gusta. Ok. okay. No, okay. Sí, claro, de... sí, encontré otra. La primera es Soji. Sí. Está en la parte de arriba. Creo que puedo editar, veamos. Para seleccionarlas. Podría marcar aquí. No, aquí sería. Uy, no está bien mar... No puedo hacerlo muy bien, pero la idea es que esta es una. Ok. Ok, muy bien. Eh, ¿Cuál sería otra? Etiquette. Está en la una, dos, en la tercera. Línea de derecha a izquierda. De derecha. Abajo de la E. Etiquette. Acá. Una. Creo. La siguiente. 
Sí, la siguiente. <risa> ah, aquí, de aquí para abajo, ¿verdad? Okay. Next, 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 la siguiente, next, okay. next. Ay, no me presione, ya voy. <risa> Try. Puntuar es... Uh, uh, uh -huh. En la segunda línea, fila, de, empezando de abajo, de abajo sí. hacia arriba. En la segunda. Hacia... ¿Cuál dijo uh, que es? Next. Ahí. En... ¿Ahí? A la... No, en la segunda. Ah, línea. Arriba de, de, la, de las que están abajo, <risa> a donde están en rojo. Ok, la bye. P... ¿Cuál, pero el, ¿Cuál es la palabra? Disculpe. Segunda línea. Puntual. puntual para arriba. Aquí, puntual. Rayos. Bueno, es que como de es mi derecha, Esta. sería a, a la izquierda. Ah, ok. Excelente. La segunda línea. Okay. Ya le di acceso, eh, Gloribel. Eh, sería acá. Esto. Lo ven. Ah, excelente. Muy bien. <risa> pero no sé cómo, pero ahí creo, está. Creo que, pueden, <risa> creo que pueden estirar esa cajita para que marque. Eh, eh, estire la cajita, Gloria. Inténtalo. Agárrenla, agárrenla de una esquinita. Take it from a... Ah. Uy, uy. <risa> <risa> <Yo> no puedo. <risa> le voy a dar el control, Chris. Vaya, pues, le voy a dar el control. Me queda. <risa> ok. No, no, then, then it's impossible. No, 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 no funciona. Ajá. Yes, no se puede entonces. I'm sorry. It was, it was my fault, Glory Bell. It was my fault. Fue mi culpa. It was my fault. Va, pero así es, ¿verdad? Hasta la L. Tú, ah, aquí arriba. Puntual. Ajá. La otra es um, donde está etiquette. Uh, está la E, la T y en la parte de la T, la O. Ajá. Abajo para arriba dice sa salutation. O no salutation. Cómo... salutation. Ok, entonces es la N. Desde aquí. Sí. Sí. La otra está de donde pusimos puntual. Uno, ando, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. En la quinta dice más. Man, manners. No, ¿Qué es eso? Uh -huh. Permítame, solo voy a... Uy. Va. Aquí está, salutation. Ah, pero quizás vamos a ir marcando las que ya te terminamos, ¿verdad? Erico, ok. Uh, for not getting confused, maybe. No, ok, ok. My. Mi manager está justo. Salutación. Salutación. Con esa es la última, ¿verdad? Yes. So, vamos a aprovechar. Um, yeah, what um, happened? Para la pronunciación. The pronunciation of which one? Yes. Which Teacher. one? Etiquette. Well, ah, it's etiquette. 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 Eri, etiquette. It's etiquette. Etiquette. Okay. Um, guidelines. Oh, the oh the pronunciation of this one is guidelines. 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 Yeah. Poli. Sorry? Poli. Oh, polite. You say polite. 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 Polite is like kind or... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man manners. Manners. You say manners. Manners. Manners are like etiquettes. It's kind of like the same purpose, right? The idea of manners is like etiquettes. It's kind of the same, okay? Okay. Manners and etiquettes. Re regard or oh, regards 
Regards. 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 Sorry? Puntuali. Ah, you say punctual. Punctual. And the punctual. Punctual. And the one you are saying, Maria, is late comer. Late comer. Late comer. Do you know what is what that is? What is late comer? I don't know. Any idea? Late comer. A late comer, a, a late comer is someone or a person who comes to work very late every day. I feel. <laughs> yes, the, the person who comes to work very late almost every day. So he's a late comer. Everything, everything is the el último. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's always the last. He's always the last. Es siempre el último. He's always the last. So that's the late, that's the late comer. Okay. Teacher, okay. Behavior. Yeah. Behavior. You say behavior. Behavior. Yeah. Next, salute, salute, salutation. Salutation. Salute. Salutation. Um, what is behavior? Behavior? What is be what is behavior, Omar? Do you know? Is is behavior is comportamiento. Behavior. Mm. Yes, comportamiento. Okay, you can take some time to practice the vocabulary. Okay, so let me visit another group. Okay. Finished, teacher. Oh, nice. I can see you finished. So, do you have. Teacher, uh, guidelines is, is good. Uh, guide, guidelines. You mean the pronunciation? Yes. Yes, the, yes, the pronunciation is correct. Guidelines. 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 What is. I have a question for you. What is latecomer? Any know. any idea? Late comer. Late comer. Late comer. No. No idea. Is is como para dejar para después o ir no sé algo así. No, actually, late comer is someone or a person who always arrives late to work. A late comer, a person who always comes late to work. Okay, siempre llega tarde. The last one. Okay, so it's Atrasado. a person. It's a person. It's a person. Uh, a late comer is the person. Is the person who gets or who goes to work very late every day or very often. Alejandro, entonces. It's a late. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't say names. Okay. I didn't say names. I'm, I'm only I'm only giving the meaning of latecomer. Okay. So a latecomer is a person who always or the majority of the times arrives late to work. Okay. So that is latecomer. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's a person. Okay. Es una persona. Okay. It's a person. Yeah, yeah me di cuenta. But not, but not you, okay? It's another person. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, not... the, person, the person I am talking about is not from this group. It's from another company, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so, um, so basically you finished, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, okay perfect. So let's, let's go to the main station then. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye, partners. Gracias. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, so did you finish? Did everyone finish? Yes. Uh, I could see uh, some people uh, were completing the crossword puzzle on the computer. Okay. Who completed the crossword puzzle on the computer? Who completed on the computer? Okay, Rocio, can you share your answers, please? Can you share what you have with the class? 
see. And we see, right? And, and we compare if everybody has the same, okay? If everybody has the words located in the same place. Okay, let's see. So check it out, please, and compare. Check it out and compare, okay? Revisen y comparen. Check it out and compare with your... What's the yeah. meaning of latecomer or latecomer? Oh, yeah. I was asking some uh, some people of some groups, what is latecomer? I, I told some people, I think, what is latecomers? What is latecomer? Anybody? <laughs> oh, it's exactly. A latecomer is a person. Okay. It's someone. It's someone who goes to work late. It's someone who arrives to work late every time, every day, or maybe always, or el the majority tardista. of the times. El, el, el what? El, el what? tardista. El tardista, that's right, the latecomer. El que se le pega la colcha. Al que el se aragán. le pega la colcha, el aragán, the lazy one. Yeah, the latecomer. So late, latecomer Ay, is a person. Juan, ya le están diciendo algo. Ah. <laughs> I, we didn't say names, all right? We didn't say any names. I mean, la I didn't say a name. No es responsabilidad el que lo dijo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, do you have the same? Do you have your uh, puzzle the same? Is it similar? Do you have the same answers? Teacher, solo que a donde dice Gailenland eh, termina en la S hasta arriba. Oh, yeah, it's plural, right? In guidelines is plural, uh, it's guidelines. correct. Yes, no. it's plural, it's guidelines. Exactly, thank you very much. Jacqueline, right? Yes. Lisette, okay, thank you very much, Lisette. Okay, so it's in plural, guidelines, okay? Very good, what about the rest? Y lo demás, everything is okay. Yes. Okay, okay, thank you, uh, Rocio, I think, right? Rocio is sharing. Okay, thank yes. you, Rocio, can you stop sharing, please? Okay, thank you very much, good. Now let's check the pronunciation of this vocabulary. Let's check the pronunciation of this vocabulary. So let's check the pronunciation quickly. So look, uh, the pronunciation of this is etiquette. Etiquette, all right? Etiquette. Etiquette. Guidelines. 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 Polite, okay? This, the pronunciation for this is polite. Polite. Manners, okay, manners, manners is like etiquette, okay, it's kind of the same, it's kind of the same idea, okay, so when you, for example, when you eat, you need to have good manners, okay, you need to have good manners when you eat, okay, the pronunciation for this is regards, okay, regards, punctual, okay, punctual, you don't say punctual, no, it's pun punctual, okay, uh, late comer, late comer, behavior. What is behavior? Comportamiento. Comportamiento, exactly. Mm -hmm. So behavior is comportamiento, behavior. And the pronunciation is behavior, all right? Salutation, salutation. And finally, subject, okay, subject. So etiquette, guidelines, polite, manners, Regards, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutation, and subject, okay? So that's the pronunciation for this vocabulary. Very good. So now let's go to the next activity. I said, right, that I said at the beginning, okay? This day is for you. This day is for you to practice, okay? So let's go to practice the next activity. In the next activity, you will work in pairs, okay? Not in groups, in pairs, okay? In pairs. And what are you going to do? ¿Qué van a hacer? What are you going to do? So listen. Using the vocabulary, using the vocabulary, okay? Uh, the vocabulary you use in the previous activity, right? Using, for example, etiquette or using um, 
guidelines, polite manners, regards, punctual, latecomer, behavior, salutation, or subject, okay? So you will choose five words. You will select five words, the words you want, okay? And you will write five examples, okay? You will write five sentences or five examples with the five words. Let me give you one example. Imagine you use manners. So you write number one here, number one, and you write the sentence. For example, you can say, uh, when you are eating, you need to have good manners. For example, when you are eating, you need to have good manners, okay? And then you go to number two. And imagine number two, um, you use latecomer, okay? And you say, latecomers are never respected at work, for example, okay? I'm just giving you examples, okay? So please select five words and write five examples using the words, yeah? Any question? No, okay, this is writing. It's actividad de escritura, this activity is writing, okay? So go with your pair and let's start working. Vamos a trabajar entonces, let's go to work. Okay, uh, let me see. Ah, if you're alone, please ask for help, okay? Si están solos, piden ayuda para que no estén solos trabajando, okay? If you're alone, ask for help, okay? Let's go to work. The, the educator are rules of coexistence. La etiqueta son reglas de comportamiento. The educator are rules of coexistence. Teacher, yeah. Debemos de usar el we o were. No. Sorry. Debemos de utilizar el we o were. No. Repeat the no example, please. Repeat the example. Debemos de usar el el we o el were, teacher. No, no. I mean, the examples are in general. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. You can write any example as long as you use the word. Siempre y cuando usen la palabra que escogieron, okay? You can use okay, any example. Okay. You can write any example. Okay. Mm, I don't write the... Uh, hi, Amber. Hi, Amber. Hi, teacher. Are you going to participate in this activity? Uh, no creo, teacher. Voy manejando. No, it's okay. I'm, I'm asking because I can see you are alone in this group. Okay? So if, if you are not going to participate, uh, it's okay. Don't worry. I want to assign you to any group. Oh. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. I teacher the children or the kids. Ah, is, is that a question? High school. Ah, it's not a question for me. It's, it's how you, yes. you can say that in English. How do you say? How do you say in English? How, how do you say that in I, 
I thought, I thought it was a question for me. I thought you were asking me, okay? So what is that? Say it please in Spanish. Tell me the example in Spanish. Eh, los niños de preparatoria son educados. You can say uh, kindergarten, kindergarten kids, kindergarten kids. O también podemos decir preschoolers. Si, si quisieran, suena bonito. Preschoolers. No, okay. kindergarten. Ah, kindergarten yes. kids. Then, kindergarten yes. kids are are polite. Mm -hmm. Yes, are polite. Are polite. All right. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. When when a people arrive, should be salutation. Mm -hmm. mm. no. Can you repeat the example? When a people arrive. Cuando la gente llega, debería saludar. Should be salvation. Uh -huh. No, no suena bien. Mm, no. Maybe, maybe, maybe what you can say here, um, you can use a salutation. You can use a salutation. When people arrive, you can use a salutation. An appropriate salutation. When people arrive, okay, you can use a salutation or an appropriate salutation if you want, okay? Inappropriate salutation, okay. An, an, yeah, an appropriate an, salutation, an appropriate. An, an appropriate salutation. When people arrive, you can use an appropriate salutation, yeah. Uh, teacher, Elsa, when, where are in exhibi exhibition? No sé cómo se pronuncia exhibition. Exhibition. Exhibition, the most behavior. You, um, maybe you can say, you must have a good behavior. You must have a good behavior. Debes tener un buen comportamiento. Because behavior is comportamiento, right? No es comportarse. Yes. When you have an exhibition, you must have a good behavior. In the exhibition, sorry, in, yes. in the exhibition. Ah, in the exhibition. Mm -hmm. In the, the exhibition, exhibition, you must have yeah. a good behavior. You must have must. Like M U S T. Ah, se si exposición así se escribe. Exhibition. Yes, it's yeah, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Oh. It's correct. Exhibition. exhibition. Yeah, it's you correct. Must have a good, good behavior. Hey, don Nelson. Pregúntelo, aprovechelo ahorita en vez de los 10 minutos. Que no acá. <risa> en vez de los 10 minutos. No, ahorita. Ahorita estamos haciendo las oraciones. No, di ahorita. Vamos a ver guidelines. En todos los Lugares de trabajo hay guidelines. Definitely. <laughs> oh. Ahí sería in every work eh, o in every job. Job. Ah. You, can, you can say work because it's like maybe it's better if you say in every workplace. In every workplace. Yes. There are guidelines in every workplace. And even you can connect. You can say etiquette guidelines and you can use two words. Pueden usar dos palabras. Etiquette guidelines, okay? Lineamiento okay. de etiqueta, etiquette guidelines. Never corporate uh, etiquette. The subject is an important part of the Sentence. It maybe in, the, in this case, sorry for the interruption. In this case, subject, okay, it's okay. What you're saying is okay. The subject is an important part of the sentence. But in this case, when we say subject, the intention of the word is different. Um. <laughs> What is the intention of the word in this case? What do you think? ¿Qué piensan? What do you think? Sí, es que son modales. 
What did you find? Did you check it in the dictionary or no? Or in Google Translate? You didn't check it in the dictionary. Solo me sale sujeto. Vayan al diccionario de word reference. A ver qué le sale. Go to word reference dictionary. Word reference dictionary. What is the word? The, the, the name of the dictionary is word reference. The word is subject. Okay. Porque me sale como someter. Okay, but look it como as a noun. Búscalo, con, búscalo con, como, como sujeto. Te debe, te debe aparecer con una N. Con una. Con una N, ajá. Subject noun. No. What do you have? ¿Qué tienen? El detalle es que subject, si recuerdan cuando lo usamos, pensemos en correos electrónicos. ¿Qué era sujeto? ¿Qué era subject? Sorry. Como, como el objetivo del correo. Exactly. Like the, el vez de como el título del correo. Ok. Ah, yes. That is subject. Ah, Eso es subject. That's right. That is subject. Eso es subject. Ah, yeah. Recuerden que aquí estamos como repasando vocabulario. Review and vocabulary. Ok. Ok. Yeah. Okay. Book on every, every conceivable subject line on wall. Sorry. Dice books on very conceivable. 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 Subject line on wall. On wall. Teacher, is correct. I regard in the half the visitor. Repeat it, please. I regard in the half the visitor. Yes, the, yeah, I mean, it's okay, but the, the idea of using regards is like for closing the email or for closing a message, para cerrar un mensaje o un correo. Like, it's saludos, okay? O saludos. Uh -huh. ah, Pero es, sí, va al final. Sí. It's at the end of the email. Va al final del, sal, de, del correo. Ah, o al final de un okay. mensaje puede ser at the end of a message, okay? Okay, yes. okay, okay. Yeah, regards. You say regards. So you write the information of the email and at the end you write regards. So podría ser best regards. Mejores deseos o saludos, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. The email. Maybe you can say, uh, uh, you write regards at the end of the email. That is one example. Es un ejemplo. You write regards at the end of the email. Escriben saludos al final del correo. You write, okay? Regards at the end of the email. That is one example using regards. Subject. Sujeto o sujeta. Subject. Lo mismo. Ajá, vamos a lo mismo de cómo estar sujetos Subject. a la... Subject. When, when you Subject. speak, be polite. Just remember, just remember. Subject, okay? Remember, Subject. yes, remember the vocabulary about emails. What is Subject. Subject is a person? No, no. Ah, tema. tema. Okay, that's right. So the subject of the email is like the main topic of the email or the, yeah, we say the title of the email. Yeah, okay. mm. and that is subject, yes. A eso se refiere, de poner el sujeto. Exactly, exactly. Ah. Like the subject no, of the ser, email. Podría ser when you speak, be polite? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. When you speak, be polite. Mm -hmm. The example is okay. Okay. 
Okay. Todas están buenas, teacher. Okay, let me check them out. Let me check. Solo que por la isla repetiríamos, vea. En serio. No te lo oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're using polite in number three and polite in number five. Uh, Change. Number five. Use a different word to write another example. And then I check. The... When you speak... Oh. Um... Um, um, get a re, regards. Regards, remember, regards, you use it at the end of the email. It's like to say or to finish the email, okay? You say regards ah, como, or best regards. Como saludos. Exactly, saludos. exactly, exactly. Ah, sí, That's the bien. meaning of regards. Mainly you use it at the end of an email, okay? Before the 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 the, the, the personal information, okay, you put or you write uh, the regards. But I said, do not forget to put the subject. Exactly. In when you write an email. Right. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Exactly. That example is okay. Who speaks English in your house, Peter? My daughter and my husband. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I hear that they sometimes help you with vocabulary. No, my, my daughter le gusta corregir. Oh, she likes correcting. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So I, I have to be really careful, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's very... Por eso me alejo de ella cuando estoy en clase, porque hasta me está corrigiendo constantemente. <laughs> yeah, so I have to be careful. Yo tengo yeah. que tener cuidado también, entonces, I have to be careful. <laughs> you, you speak well, eh, bien. Y entonces hay que alejarse de ella, porque si no, ahí está, no, ¿qué tal cosa? No, no. <laughs> no, but that's good. Uh, a veces. Yeah, somehow. Porque hasta cierto punto. <laughs> Okay, do not forget to put the subject when you send emails. Mm -hmm. It's okay, teacher? Yeah, it's okay. 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 Always, uh, all, uh, always be punctual. Yeah, it's okay. A, a good behavior is always rewarded. Yeah, it's okay. Rewarded. Rewarded. Reward, reward. Rewarded. 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 Okay. Rewarded. Yeah. Vaya, lo practicamos. Mira que behavior. Behavior is. Lo acabo de ver. Uh, comportamiento, no. Yes. yes. Sí. Behavior is always. Are you done? Yes, teacher. Okay, so let's go to the main session then. <clears throat> Okay, uh, okay, everyone, just before uh, I pass the attendance, okay, um, I want to listen to your examples, okay? Your examples are very important for me and for the class, okay? So let's see, uh, Juan Carlos Rivas, can you share one example, please? Only one example, okay? You say the word and the example, okay? Each email must have a subject. Each email must have a subject, Sub okay? This, a subject, and the subject is very important, okay? Good, thank you very much, Juan Carlos Rivas. Um, let me see, Nelson? Uh, 
Can you share one example with the class? Nelson, do you have one example for the class? Perdón, teacher, eh, tenía apagado el micrófono. It's okay. No. <laughs> okay. Eh, our classmates are punctual in class. Oh, oh my God. Oh, classmates. All classmates are punctual in class. Oh, that's a compliment. <laughs> yes. I I would like, okay, I would like everybody to be punctual. <laughs> I would like that. Me gustaría mucho eso. I would like that. Okay, thank you, Mr. Gavarrete. Oh. Thank you very much. Okay, let's Inchere, listen to... Inchere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Oscar Anufo, you were saying? <laughs> I, yes, I mean... I want it, everybody is punctual here, okay? But I want you to be more punctual, okay? <laughs> All right, very good, let's carry on. Jocelyn, do you have an example? Okay. Um, a good behavior is always rewarded. A good behavior is always rewarded with candies, with presents, with everything, right? Thank you, Jocelyn, good example. Alejandro, do you have one example? I should be punctual in my work every day. Can you repeat it, please? I should be punctual in my work every day. Oh, nice. Very good. Thank you very much, Alejandro. All right, let's listen to Omar. Omar, do you have one example for the class? The start your layer with the salut salutation. Salutation. You mean start your day with a salutation? It's correct. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's correct. Start your day with a salutation. That's your example? Is that your example? Is that your example? Omar? Can you repeat your example, please? Yes, yes. Repeat it, please. Start your layer with the salutation. Your layer. What do you mean by layer? What is layer? Maybe you can say your day. Start your day with a salutation. Empieza tu día con un saludo. Yes. I think it sounds better. Uh -huh. Start your day with a salutation, okay? Okay. It, okay, thank you very much, Omar. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see one last example. Abigail. Do you have one example, Abigail? Yes. Um, good behavior is required in the office. Mm, interesting. Good behavior is required in the office. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Good example. I like it. Thank you very much. Okay. So everybody, can we give, uh, can you go to reactions and give thumbs up? Some thumbs up for the participations, please. Go to reactions and give thumbs up for the participations, please. Okay, thank you for your participations, okay, for the ones who participated. And I know everybody completed the sentences, okay? So thank you very much. Good. Now, let me pass the attendance quickly. Le voy a pasar asistencia rápidamente. Let me pass attendance quickly. And after this, we take the two minutes. After I pass the attendance, okay? Alejandro Antonio. Present teacher. Ana Abigail. Thank you. Oh, Ana Abigail, uh, do you have the one-on-one -on -one session today? Ahora yes. tienen la sesión, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Sí? Okay, okay. Thank you, Ana Abigail. Yes, right. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian. Present. Ember. Present. All right, Frida. Present. Jacqueline Lisset. I'm here. Juan Carlos Alas. He's connected. Juan Carlos Rivas. I'm here. Maria Elena. Present. All right. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Nelson. Nelson. I'm here, teacher. All right. Oh, Omar Francisco. 
Ok, Oscar Anulfo. Present. Oscar Ernesto, no, right, he never got connected. Rocío Lourdes. Present. Ok, Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joana. Jocelyn Joana. Ok. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Dinora. Oh, I, I don't see Dinora. Ok. And Jose Galileo, right? Ok, they work together, I think. Ok, uh, all right, so let's take uh, two minutes, two minutes, right? Let's take two minutes, a two minutes break, sorry. Let's take a two minutes break. Vamos a receso de dos minutos. Let's take a two minutes break, ok? Okay, everyone, exactly two minutes, right? The two minutes are over, so let's start. Two minutes are over, so let's start. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so far, uh, so far we completed a crossword puzzle and we uh, wrote some examples using some vocabulary, okay? Some vocabulary from the unit, like subject, etiquette, guidelines, or what else? Polite, punctual, okay? So basically we use different vocabulary to write examples. So the idea of today, or the idea of today's class is to review, to practice and review, practicar y repasar, okay? To practice and review. Very good. So to continue reviewing, let's go and let's complete one activity together as a class, okay? Let me share it. Okay. Okay, listen, uh, in the following activity, uh, we have this. I don't know if you remember, I don't know, right? If you remember the uses, I don't know if you remember the uses of would you mind and could you? Do you remember the uses of would you mind and could you? Can you tell me please? First, question number one. Uh, what is the idea of using would you mind and could you? What is the main purpose of using this?
what is the purpose of using would you mind and could you like would you mind opening the door or could you open the door please so what is the purpose of using would you mind and could you um, yes it's uh sorry instructions oh, Yes. For instructions, it's closed. If I tell you, if I tell you, hey, could you open the door, please? Petitions? Sorry? Petitions? Petitions, okay, yes, but there's a word. It's okay, it's correct, but there's a word to say petitions. What is the word? I will give you clues. Le voy a dar pistas. Yes, can you say the word, please? What is the question is, what is the purpose of using would you mind and could you? I'm giving you clues. Le estoy dando pistas. I'm giving you clues. De una cinco, teacher, request. That's right. The idea of using would you mind and could you is for requests. For requests. For requests, yes, yes. Yes, request. So the idea of using this is for requests or peticiones, right? So that is the main idea of using would you mind and could you. Now, would you mind? Let's go to would you mind. When you use would you mind, what happens with the verb? When you use would you mind, what happens with the verb in the question? Uh, use the ing exactly i use ing so i say would you mind opening the door please would you mind opening the door and now when i use could you do i put ing or i don't put ing don't put ing sorry what could you you not use ING. Exactly. So in this case, the ING is not necessary. It's impossible. So I say, could you open? We use the verb in the base form, okay? Could you open the door, please? You say open. But when you say, would you mind? You say, would you mind opening, okay? Let's use another verb. Imagine I say, um, what? Check the merchandise, okay? Check the merchandise. So my verb is check. So I say, would you mind checking the merchandise? Checking. Now using could. Could you check? Ah, now it's different. Could you check the merchandise, please? All right. Very good. So taking this in consideration, we have five sentences here. Some of these sentences have mistakes. Okay. They have errors. Some sentences, not all the sentences. Okay. But some sentences, three, I think have errors. Can you identify the errors, please? Read the sentences and identify the errors. And then you tell me. Y luego me dicen. Al final, at the end, all right? Right now, check the sentences and identify the errors. This is on page 38, okay? Eso está en la página 38. This is on page 38. And the one is... Oh, moving. don't tell me, don't tell me yet. Todavía no me digan, don't tell me yet. Okay, check them all, revisen las todas y luego compartimos. Check them all, and later um, we check them together, okay? Right now, just try to identify the mistakes, but don't tell me, okay? Don't tell me now. <clears throat> remember not all the sentences have errors okay at least two sentences two sentences don't have errors okay two sentences are correct but three sentences are incorrect 
Okay. Ready. Three. Three. Correct. Three sentences are incorrect, okay? And two are correct. <clears throat> are you ready? Are you ready to check? I think. Yes. you think okay let's see uh number one okay number one <clears throat> so the first question is number one is it correct or incorrect correct correct, correct. correct. exactly exactly the, the correct. structure the structure is correct la estructura correct. está correcta it's like would you correct. mind moving the verb with ing so it's correct would you mind moving your car is blocking mine all right Number two, is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. It's incorrect. incorrect. It's incorrect. What is the problem? Mm. Could you? Not ah, you. exactly. The position of could. Could you? So you say, could. you don't say you could in the equation. You say could you, right? So could you put you could at the beginning. Could Movemos el could. And we say, could you fill this purchase order? Okay, could you? Number yeah. three. Number three, correct or incorrect? Correct. Incorrect. 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 Is, in, is incorrect. What is the problem? Correct. Uh, mine. Mine. Where do I put mine? What do you mean? Ah, exactly. So I say. Exactly. Exactly. So I say. Would you mind? Would you mind here, right? On this space. Would you mind sending this invitation yes. to your assistant? Very good. Sending the Yes. Would you mind sending this invitation to your assistant? Yes. Good. Excellent. Number four. Is it correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Exactly. Exactly. It's correct. You say, correct. would you mind? And then the verb with would ing. So it, something to it. Okay. To eat. Exactly. Would you mind ordering something to it? Good. So it's correct. Number five. Is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Correct. It's incorrect. So what is missing or what is the, the problem? The verb is come, not coming. Oh, you say, you don't say coming, right? You say, you come. say, come, 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 come. You say, could you come earlier come. tomorrow? Come. So the verb in the base form, el verbo va en su forma base. Could you come earlier tomorrow? We need to receive no our visitors. No, mm -hmm. no, no ING, right? Okay. Could you come? Very good. So do you have any questions about this activity? No questions? It's clear? Todo claro? Everything clear? Yes. Yes. Everything is clear? So now let me ask you directly. Let me ask you directly. Christian. Uh, yes. With use when we use "Would you mind?" Would you mind? Do we put or don't we put ing in the verb? We put or we don't put ing in the verb when we use "Would you mind?" When we use "Would you mind?" I put ing. Exactly. I put ing in the verb. Like, would you mind sending? Would you mind coming? Would you mind speaking? Or would you mind going? Would you mind cleaning? I put ing. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Omar Francisco. When I use could, could you, could you, do I put ing in the verb? Yeah. Or I don't put ing? 
que se mantiene el, el verbo en sin ing. Ah, en su forma base, in the base form, en su forma base, in the base form. Exactly, thank you. So I say, could you, could you open the door? Could you send the emails tomorrow? Could you visit clients the next week? All right, so they're good. So nice, I can see the topic is very clear for everybody. Thank you very much. Good. Now let's go to the next activity. In the next, the next activity is very easy. So I will give you like two minutes, okay? And you will work in pairs. Van a trabajar en parejas. What are you going to do? Easy, very easy. On page 38, in a página 38, on page 38, below the exercise we were completing, uh, you have some sentences. Uh, you have some, okay, let me see, you have some questions, okay? It's activity four. You have some questions and you have the answers, okay? Like for example, number one, would you mind turning the lights on? And you have two answers, A and B. What do you need to do? You need to select the correct answer, okay? The correct answer with your pair, con su pareja. And when you finish, you practice the questions and the answers, okay? Cuando terminen, practican las preguntas y las respuestas. You practice the questions and the answers, okay? This is on page 38, está en la página 38, exercise four. So do you have any questions? Solo vamos a hacer number four, number four. Yes, only number four, only number four. So the instruction is read the questions and answer the questions. And when you finish, practice the questions, okay, with your classmate. Practican con su compañero. Practice the questions with your classmate, okay? Yeah? Do you have any question? Or is clear? It's very clear, right? I think. Okay, let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's go and practice. Again, if you are alone, ask for help. Si están solos, pidan ayuda. If you are alone, ask for help. Okay? Okay. En realidad con Call You My y Call You, ¿verdad? Sí, no, lo que pasa ya en ahora no lo vea, no vi como dos, dos errores, pero un tercero no lo vi en el caso de la última. Ah, coming. Yo sí entendí okay. que era ING, pero es com. Bueno, practiquemos con estas oraciones, a ver qué tal. Nelson, okay. ¿entendió cuál es la mecánica? Ah. Good evening, Mr. Nelson. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Eh, sí, yo lo que veo acá es, ¿verdad? El número 4, este, vamos a la, la opción y luego están el A y el B, ¿verdad? No problem, yes, I will. Eh, y ahí vamos a hacer a según la, la oración. Hola, teacher. Hello. Hola, teacher. First, you need to answer the questions. Read the questions and answer the questions, okay? And when you finish answering the questions, okay, you practice the questions and the answers, of course. Yeah? Ah, okay, okay, excellent. Voy a compartir la pantalla, compañeros, para que se nos haga fácil. Oigan. Okay. 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 Okay, ¿logran visualizarla? Sí. Cambiar, ya. Would you mind turning the lights on? No problem. Problem. Oh. So yo lo hago. I work. Hmm? Would you order something to eat, please? Si es pizza, está bueno. <laughs> <laughs> sí, yes, I could. Yes, I could. Sí, porque el otro dice, si, si es pizza, ok, dice, si no, no. Ajá, <laughs> your request? More, more jumbo paper, 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 please. Right, right away. Right away. Uh -huh. Right away. Mm. 
your mind, your mind getting ten copies per call in a minute. In a minute. Excuse me, could you tone down the volume and bite? A bit. A bit. A bit. Excuse me, could you... What's the meaning of bit? A bit. A bit. Poquito. Yes. Ah. Y, y a few? A few is pocos. Pocos. Oh, okay. Yeah, the difference is that a few is for countable. And a bit ah. or a little bit is for non-countable or oh, uncountable. Non -countable. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I could. Oh, not a problem. Not a problem. Excuse me, put your down. Mm -hmm. See, no, not, not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Vamos a ver, le voy a preguntar yo. Would you mind turning the light on? No problem. Could you order something to eat, please? Yes, I could. Um, could you... um, 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 hold on, hold on. Can you repeat the question and the answer, please? Could, could you order... order something to eat, please? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, you? <laughs> algunas veces, yes, yeah. No, no, I mean, the, the, the thing is that uh, when we use these kind of questions, uh, we we have to try uh, not to use, not to use yes, I could or yes, I would, right? We use other answers like right away, no problem, not a problem, of course, okay. So the idea okay. is not to use yes, I could or no, I couldn't, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Number three. ¿Cuáles son las malas las que tienen cool o bull? Okay. Would you mind encender las luces? Would you mind turning the light light on? No, no problem. Hello, teacher. Hello. It's okay, or that's correct or incorrect. Uh, what, what I feel is that in number uh, two, could you order something to eat, please? Yes, I could. could the, the thing is that uh, we, uh, the idea of these kind of questions, okay, when you ask for requests, is to say different, something different, not yes, right? Is to say something different. So I think it's, it's okay, it's better. It's because you're asking for options, right? Okay? okay, you are like saying, of course I can do it, but is pizza okay for you or you want something different, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes, pizza is okay. All right, so did you practice? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Bueno, practiquemos nuevamente. The teacher, uh, we are about that. No, no, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Tell me, tell me. It could, excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? It's okay. Not a problem. The problem, the pronunciation. The pronunciation. Yeah, con esa oración es la que nos estaba acostando. Excuse me. Repeat it, please. Repeat it. Excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? Yeah, it's okay. Excuse me, okay. could you turn down the volume a bit? Could you turn down the volume a bit? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye. Okay, I guess everyone finished, right? Okay, let's see. Uh so the idea the idea um I want to say this because this is very important, okay? Uh, the idea when you use these type of questions, like questions for requests, okay, like could you or would you mind, okay? The idea is not to say yes, yes I could or yes I would or, or no I would or no I couldn't, okay? No, the idea is to answer with something different. Like for example, no problem, not a problem or of course, okay? Yeah, so the idea is to say something different. Sure, okay, sure. The idea is not to say yes, 
Okay, the idea is to use a different answer, okay, not yes. Yeah, good. So let's see uh, who wants to share. Um, oh, well, let me, let me choose Mauricio. Okay, um, can you do number one, please? The question and the answer. Uh, B. <laughs> the question and the answer. Okay. Uh... Do you want me to share? Quieren que les comparta? I think I could, uh, will you mind turning the lights on? Okay, uh, repeat it. The answer? Uh, nosotros colocamos yes, I will. <laughs> mm, what about the others? No, what do you think? No problem. Is no problem. Correct. It's right. No, no problem. problem. The, the thing is that, Mauricio, just to clarify, okay? If I ask you, Mauricio, would you mind turning the lights on? If you tell me, yes, I would. It's like you're saying me that you don't want to turn on the lights. Me está diciendo que no quieres hacerlo. It's like the opposite. Okay? okay. Because the question is, ¿te molestaría encender las luces? Would you mind turning the lights on? Y si me dices sí, okay, significa que sí te molestaría, okay? So it's, uh, you better say no problem, okay? All right, let's see question number two. Let's listen to um, Oscar Arnulfo. Question and answer. Could you order something to eat, please? It's pizza, okay? Excellent, that's pretty good. So the idea I said is not to say just I could. So I say it's pizza, okay? So the correct answer is, is pizza okay, all right? Or you want something different maybe, right? You're like being open for options, okay? Let's see number three. Thank you, Mauricio. And thank you, um, Mauricio. Let's see number three. Let's listen to Gloribel. Number three. Could you request more jumbo papers, please? Please, right away. Exactly. So you, so you say right away. Okay. Like in this moment, sir. Okay. Thank you, Gloribel. Could you request more Jumbo paper clips, please? Right away. Good. Thank you, Gloribel. Now let's see number four. Let's listen to um, in number four. Let's listen to Maria Elena. Um, well, do you mind? Excuse me. Getting would you mind getting 10 copies of this report in a minute. In a minute. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much, Maria. And let's see the last one, number five. So the answer for number four is in a minute. Okay. Let's see number five. Let's listen to um let me see here. Let me see here. Christian. Excuse me, could you turn down the vol volume? The volume, the volume. The volume. Okay. Excuse me, could you turn down the volume a bit? A bit. A bit. A bit. Okay. A bit. Eh, bueno, nosotros respondimos. Yes, I could. What, what about you? What about, what about the rest? ¿Qué hay de los demás? What about the rest? What do you think? Not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, okay. Not a problem. Okay, you say not a problem. Okay, no hay problema. Is is like I can do it. No problem. Okay, not a problem. Good. So, um, do you have any question about these questions? Do you have any question about these questions? Because I want all the topics to be clear. All right. So, do you have any question about these questions? Yes, teacher. Yeah, what is your question? Eh, en esta última. Yeah. Puede ser las dos respuestas. Por eso fue que nosotros pusimos el literal B. Puede I ser mean, las dos respuestas o, o solamente wow. una. I mean, you, I mean, Christian, you can say yes, I could, but, but it's, not, it's not like the best answer. Okay. Uh, the, the explanation about these topics is that when we use requests, okay. When we use requests, the idea is not to say, yes, I could. The idea is to use a different answer, okay? Like not a problem, sure, or right away, in a minute, in a moment, okay? So that's the idea here. 
Okay? Understand. Thank you okay. very much. All right. Maria Elena, do you have a question? It's only comment. Okay. I'm being um, interesting to answer with a question in B number two. Okay. Can you repeat your comment, please? Did Anna uh, speaking interesting uh, answer is a question in the two, in the number two? I don't get yeah. you. I don't get you, Maria. No, 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 no. I don't get you. Oh, en español, porque no sé entonces cómo en inglés. No, no. The... Intento de un inglés, pero voy a intentar en inglés. No, no. Sí. The... Okay, do it, please. Uh, interesting. The answer number two is a question. Oh, ah, I, I guess you. I, yeah, no, no, I mean, you are saying it correctly. I was confused, okay? Your, ah. your, com your comment is correct in English. Your comment is correct in English. Okay, yeah, the, this is correct. I mean, the, what Maria is saying is that, as you can see, the question is in number two, right? Uh, yes. Could you order something to eat? And the answer is a question too, okay? Yes, yes it's correct. Yes. But as if it's a question, but at the same time, it's an answer, right? Because it's related to what is being asked. Está relacionado a lo que está siendo preguntado. Could you order something to eat, please? Oh, is pizza okay? All right, it's like an answer, but it's a question, all right? Yeah, you're right. It's very interesting, Maria. Thank you. Y me lo estaba diciendo bien. Yo estaba confundido. I was confused, okay? Sorry. I'm sorry about that. Okay, very good. So uh, do you have any question about these questions? Or everything is okay now? Everything is clear? Everything is clear? Yeah. Okay. So for the next activity, we will complete it together. Okay. We will complete the next activity together. So listen, I will give you five minutes. For five minutes, think. Okay. Here we have on this activity, activity five, we have some problems. Okay. And you need to give suggestions. And what do you use to give suggestions? What do you use to give suggestions? ¿Qué usan para dar sugerencias? What do you use to give suggestions? Should. We use, Juan Carlos Rivas? Should. We use should, exactly. We use should. Should is to give suggestions, okay? We use should, excellent. So take a moment, check this information, and think of suggestions, okay? Piensen en sugerencias. For example, number one, Sara never stops chatting on the phone when we have lunch. She's always talking on the phone when we have lunch. What is the suggestion for Sara? She, she, she should what? Tell me the suggestion for Sara. She, she never stops she, chatting on the phone. She should? Stop. She should be broken telephone. <laughs> she should break the tele the, the cell phone. <laughs> she, should stop she should stop chatting. Okay, so the suggestion is she should stop chatting, maybe. Okay, she should stop chatting. Very good. So continue with number two, number three, number four, and number. Five, okay? Only think about the answer. Solo piensen en la, en la sugerencia que van a dar. So take a moment. Tomen un espacio. Take a moment. This is, um, this is on page 38, the same. Lo mismo, está en la página 38. It's on page 38, okay? It's exercise five. It's on page 38. Página 38, page 38. Okay, so only think. Don't write the answers, okay? Only think. Solo piensen, no escriban las respuestas. Only think. Don't write the answers. Think of the suggestions.
In the meantime, I will pass you the attendance. Okay, mientras tanto les iré pasando asistencia. Alejandro Antonio. Present teacher. All right, you just continue working. Just say present and continue thinking, okay? Ana Abigail. I'm here. Ana Beatriz. Present. Christian. Present teacher. Ember. I'm here. Okay, uh, Frida. Present. Jacqueline Lisset. I'm here. Juan Carlos Alas. He's connected. Uh, Juan Carlos Rivas. Present. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Maria Elena. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Nelson. Nelson. Okay, uh, Omar Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, okay, Omar. Thank you. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Oscar Ernesto, no, right. Rocío Lourdes. Uh, present. Okay, uh, Jacqueline Gloribel. Present. Jocelyn Joana. Jocelyn Joana. Thank you. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yes, it's okay. You were very concentrated. You were very focused. Okay, Dinora. And Galileo, who are not connected. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll give you two more minutes. Dos minutos más, two more minutes. I like number three. Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. <laughs> This is very common nowadays. I said, don't write the suggestions, just think, I said. And I see some people are writing. <laughs> are you ready? Yes? Okay, uh, let's start, let's start. Are you ready? Is everyone ready? Give me thumbs up if you are ready, please. Are you ready to give suggestions? Están listos, are you ready? Not yet, aún no. Juan Carlos Rivas, are you ready? Oscar, yes, Maria, a little bit. You need a bit of time, okay. Oh, Frida is ready, okay. So one minute, un minuto más, one more minute.
Okay, let's uh, okay, let's check quickly. Let's check very quickly. Okay, let's see number two. Okay, please uh, read the sentence. Okay, and say the instru and say the suggestions you have. All right. So who wants to share number two? Number two, volunteers. Number two. So you read the sentence and you give the suggestion. Okay. Number two. We do we have volunteers for number two? No volunteer. Okay, let's see, Maria Elena. And Rocio, you do number three, okay? Rocio, number you do number two. three. Number two, Maria Elena. My, my boss. Boss doesn't like to walk to my bed when he needs something. He yells um, at me from his bed. So he so tell me uh, on the commuter, commuter. No sé cómo se dice commutador. He, she should, he should call me on the commuter. Commuter, uh -huh. Okay, on the commuter. He should call me on the commuter. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, good suggestion. So uh, who has a different suggestion for number two? Who has a different suggestion for number two? Have a different. He, okay. Okay. What is it? He shouldn't shoot to him employees. Repeat it, please, Rocio. He shouldn't or should not shoot. Uh, no sé si se shout. Shout. Shout to him employees. Exactly. He shouldn't. He shouldn't or he should not shout at the employees. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Let's see number uh, number three, okay, Rocio. Uh, and Susan. Number three, Jimena and Susan take many selfies when they are working. So what is your suggestion? My suggestion is uh, they shouldn't take selfies when they are working. They shouldn't take selfies shouldn't. when they are working or they should not. They shouldn't or they should not. Thank you, Rocio. So who has a different suggestion for Jimena and Susan? Who has a different suggestion for Jimena and Susan? Nobody? Okay, Maria. I think so. they should put their cell phone away and do it after work. That's right. They should put the cell phones away and take selfies on the bus or whatever place, okay? Or during the, during lunch, I don't know, okay? Thank you, Maria, thank you very much. Number four, volunteers for number four. Si no hay voluntarios, no nos vamos, no terminamos la clase. <laughs> so volunteers for, no, not Maria and not Rocio, somebody else. Neither Maria nor Rocio, somebody else, volunteers. Ay, ay, que no quieren terminar la clase hoy, you don't want to finish the class today. Frida. Sí. Number four, Pablo posts. Okay, Pablo posts the thing not a good time in his office door. So his team don't like to talk to him. Entonces, in this case, he should not post. Uh, he should? He should not. Oh, don't post. He should not post. Talk. Talk. No, porque él está posteando cosas de en el trabajo. Entonces, he... Okay, he, uh, I don't get the, the, the word after not. He should not post. Post. Ah, post. Uh -huh. He should not post. Uh, uh, anything. <laughs> anything okay he should not post anything or this type of signs right maybe you can say he should not post this type of signs okay thank you very much and number five thank you frida number five volunteers for number five graciela always signs her emails with an emoji okay ana beatriz miss graciela always sends her email with the emoji is she, he, no, she 
should not smile is informal. Uh, she should not use emojis. It's informal in emails. Okay. Thank you, Ana Beatriz. Thank you very much. And thank you, everybody. All right, everyone. So uh, thank you very much for connecting today. Gracias por conectarse hoy. Y felicidades a todos porque completaron, completaron la plataforma a tiempo. Okay. A las tres todo estaba ya completo. Everything was complete. Okay. Solo habían como dos que tienen 80%. Me imagino que lo completaron al 100% o no sé si lo van a dejar así. Okay. I don't know. But congratulations. Felicidades porque todos lo hicieron antes del viernes. Okay. So congratulations again. Felicidades otra vez. Okay. Espero que la otra semana sea igual. Okay, everybody, thank you for connecting today. Well, I have to say, have a good weekend. Tengan un buen fin de semana and take care. Solo Abigail se queda. Only Abigail mm. stays, okay? Good night, goodbye. Okay. Good night, bye, goodbye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye and good night. See you, see you on bye. Monday. Bye. bye, see you on Monday. See you Monday. Bye, bye, see you on Monday. Mm. Okay, Abigail, this space is for you. Se fue la luz, Abigail. The lights went out. Ah, ya, ya regresó. Sorry. It's, Se apagaron it's, la luz. Oh, my God. Pensaron que había terminado la clase, creo. Sí. Okay, Abigail. So this space is for you. If you have any questions, you can ask in this moment. Yes. El tema que no me quedó muy claro fue el de... Ah, ya le digo, pero aquí lo tenía. Fue el del simple pass. Simple pass, ok. What isn't clear for you? ¿Qué no tienes, qué no tienes claro? ¿Todo o alguna parte en específico? ¿Something specific? Ok. En la parte de cuando usamos... Eh, negativo, pero decía did. Did. Uh -huh. Ok, déjame buscar aquí la pizarra. Let me look for the board. Ok, just let me look for the board quickly. Muy bien. Ok, let me, let me make a review. Voy a, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso, ok? Uh -huh. We'll make a little review. Very good. So basically, when we are speaking about the past, cuando hablamos del pasado, we need something We need some important things. Necesitamos algunas cosas que son importantes, ¿ok? okay. In the positive form, en la forma en positivo, in the positive form, ¿ok? Primero vamos a la forma positiva. Necesitamos un verbo, we need a verb okay. in past, ¿ok? Necesitamos un verbo en pasado. We need a verb in, in past, ¿ok? Ok. Y los verbos pueden cambiar, ¿ok? Uh, si son regulares, solo les agregamos ed. For example... For visit, decimos visited. Para visit, el verbo visitar, le agregamos ed y decimos visited. Para go, por ejemplo, el verbo ir, ese ya no le agregamos ed. Ponemos went. ¿Por qué? En pasado, ¿verdad? Porque este verbo es un verbo irregular y los verbos irregulares cambian del presente al pasado, ¿ok? Y los regulares solo les ponemos de o ed. ¿Ok? Bien, vamos a otro verbo regular. Talk, for example, platicar, talk. Este es regular, solo le pongo ed, and I say talk, en pasado, in past, ¿ok? Y vamos a un irregular más, podría ser el know, que es como saber o conocer. ¿Cómo digo esto en pasado? I say, este ya cambia, porque es un verbo irregular. Digo knew en pasado, yo sabía, ¿ok? I knew, ¿ok? Ya, yeah? muy bien. O yo lo sabía, I knew it, you can say. Ok, ya en un ejemplo, digamos, yo podría decir, podría decir, sorry, I could say, I knew it, lo sabía en pasado. Ok, este knew is in past, ok. O podría decir, tal vez, I visited, I visited um, my mom, my mom, uh, yesterday, ok. Yo visité a mi mamá. Ayer, I visited my mom yesterday. Llevo el verbo en pasado. So, what is important? En la forma positiva, ¿qué es lo importante entonces? El verbo debe ir en 
pasado, en la forma pasado. positiva, en pasado. Y por ahí compartieron una lista de verbos ahí en el grupo, ¿ok? Que están los verbos en presente y en pasado, ¿ok? Muy bien. This is about the positive. Esto es en cuanto al positivo. Pero, ¿qué hay del negativo? What about the negative? ¿Ok? Estamos hablando del pasado. Don't lose focus, ¿ok? Para que no te pierdas. En el negativo vamos a usar didn't, que significa no en pasado. Y el verbo, ¿ok? Aquí el verbo ya no va a ir en pasado. El verbo va en presente. Ah, pero me, me puedes decir, teacher, pero estamos hablando en pasado. ¿Cómo es que el verbo va en presente? Porque usamos el didn't. Y el didn't hace la forma pasada. Así que el verbo ya va en presente. Let's see it in context. Veámoslo en contexto. Un ejemplo podría ser, I didn't, I didn't speak, ok, I didn't speak uh, with my clients, with my clients um, today, for example. Yo no hablé con mis clientes hoy. Ah, el diren significa no. Y el diren convierte al verbo en pasado. Aunque el verbo va en presente, pero como uso el diren, el diren hace el pasado en negativo, ¿ok? ¿Ya? Yeah. Okay. ¿Estamos claros? Otro ejemplo okay. podría ser, I didn't, oh, usemos otro pronombre. Let's use another pronoun. Voy a decir Abby, for example. Abby didn't, solo estoy cambiando el sujeto nada más. Abby didn't um, understand, ¿ok? Abby didn't understand the simple past the simple past well ok el diren hace el pasado así que el verbo puede ir en presente no hay problema Abby no entendió el pasado simple bien ok Abby didn't understand the simple past well ok esto es acerca del negativo this is about the negative ok ahora bien okay. tenemos, tenemos una forma más we have one more form tenemos questions, cómo hacer preguntas, how to make questions, ¿ok? Muy bien, lo importante en las preguntas es que usamos el, el did, eso es todo, that's it, we use did, ¿ok? Now let's see some examples, veamos algunos ejemplos, let's see some examples. Solo déjame cambiar de color, for example, I can say did, right? Se mira el morado, ¿verdad? ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Did you, for example, did you uh, talk? Did you talk uh, to uh, your to your boss uh, last week, for example? Last week es la semana pasada, ¿ok? Last week. Y tenemos la pregunta. Did se usa en la pregunta en pasado y el verbo siempre va en presente, presente. porque el did hace el pasado igual que el negativo, ¿ok? Okay. Y el did es el verbo auxiliar para hacer la pregunta. Did you talk to your boss last week? ¿Hablaste con tu jefe la semana pasada? ¿Ok? Y también podríamos poner, ¿qué? Podríamos hacer, podríamos hacer una pregunta abierta. Podríamos ponerle where. ¿Qué es where? ¿Recuerdas qué es where? Uh, ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Exactamente, es dónde. Ajá, podría ser. Podría decir, sorry. Where, where did... Uh, Ana Beatriz, o Ana, diré, where did Ana, um, uh, let me see, tell me a verb, dime un verbo, tell me a verb, um, donde Ana, work, uh, where did Ana work, uh -huh. donde trabajó Ana, where did Ana work, uh, last year, for example, last year, Sigue la misma estructura, aunque le ponga where. Mira, el did, el sujeto y el verbo en presente, ¿ok? ¿Dónde trabajó Ana el año pasado? Where did Ana work last year? Y siempre uso el did. Luego el sujeto, igual que en la primera oración que te di. Y luego el verbo en presente, ¿ok? Porque el did hace el pasado. El did siempre lo vamos a usar. Para preguntas en pasado pues, siempre. Ajá. Siempre, no, always, no, no. always, siempre para preguntas en pasado, es el verbo auxiliar que usamos. Así como usamos el do y el das en el presente, usamos el did en el pasado como un verbo auxiliar que hace el tiempo verbal, ¿ok? Ok. Muy bien. Ok, básicamente eso es el pasado. 
Sencillo, very simple. Oh, y para contestar tu answer, para contestar usamos el did. Si yo te pregunto, por ejemplo, did you work yesterday? Did you work yesterday? ¿Trabajaste ayer? Tú me dices, yes, I did. Yes, okay. I did. Yes, I did. Well, ah, usamos okay. el did para contestar, ¿ok? Ok. Ok. Chévere, sí, ya me quedó más claro. Excelente, great. Lo es tenía interrogante. Ok, Abigail, thank you very much then for connecting. Gracias por conectarte a la sesión. Thank you, teacher. Ok, thanks and good night and see you on Monday. Pasa un feliz fin de semana, perdón. Thanks, igualmente. Okay. Thank you very much. Ok, bye bye. Bye.